y'all. It's Thursday, June 14th. Um, it's about 8, 17 in the morning. I'm about 15 minutes away from work, so I left about 30 minutes late this morning because um, I think I told you guys I'm dog sitting for my cousin and she has a Yorkie as well but it's a boy and he's kind of shy still in my house so it takes a while to get him out of his cage in the morning and to you know let him go to the bathroom and stuff and then I just kind of laid in bed a little a little longer today just to rest up a little bit but I am headed to work after missing two and a half days because you guys know I left early on Monday um, so that's good I'm going to work today um, I was at the hospital for about seven hours yesterday almost seven hours so yeah happy to be out of there um, I'm like five minutes away from work now I cannot find my gold Michael Kors necklace I thought I packed it to go to the DR no idea what happened to it um, they gave me some stuff for like my stomach pains and a lot of the other symptoms I was feeling and then they gave me some stuff for like sinus stuff since I have a cold right now so I'm gonna get those prescriptions filled at the CVS by my job um, and then they said they'll call me within two days if there's anything wrong with the samples that they sent off so we'll see about that but I am feeling better today so that's good I don't feel as weak today um, I don't know if I told you guys but yesterday I did stop at Home Depot to get one of those closet organizing systems so I'm gonna try to have that installed today um, and I have with the, I have the equivalent of two closets in my room they have two separate sliding doors on either side but it's when you open them it's all connected inside the closet so I think I'm gonna put two different closet organizing systems in there the one I brought yesterday was like 120 bucks so I'm thinking about getting a second one of those I don't know we'll see um, or they have like the smaller versions that I can get just to add on to the one that I have so we'll see I'll show you guys that um, I have baby grass coming in now from where the landscaper ripped up my whole lawn and receded so I'm not sure when he's coming back um, because I told him this the section on the other side of the sidewalk I usually do that entire section because my neighbor is like an elderly man um, who had like massive heart surgery and everything so he doesn't really mess with his lawn so I told when I when I told my landscaper to do that section on the other side of the sidewalk I thought he was gonna do the whole little section because it's not big at all but he split it in half and only did half of it because he thought I only wanted him to do my technically my property so I told him you know that I handled that whole little area and literally it's like probably five feet long it's not long at all so that's why I was confused why they split it in half but I do understand because he didn't understand that even though it's not my property I go ahead and cut that and maintain it as well so he said next time he comes back to maintain do maintenance on my yard he would have that done that little extra half but I don't know when he's coming back because the baby grass is just now starting to come in my timer that I brought for my sprinkler system did not come on today which I was shocked about and I went over to look at the screen and the screen is completely blank so I don't know if the batteries I put in it have died because they weren't great quality batteries anyway or if some type of water damage I would think that it's waterproof and it's been working you know for over a week um, by itself so I don't know so I'm gonna have to check that out and change the batteries if not it's going back to the store because that was $35 um, what else what else? I don't know what else. I don't know what else. I, I placed the order. I told you guys that my nice dance will be here tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. To put those in my room to get some stuff off my floor. That's great. And then once I install, or once I have the closet system installed, at least on one of the closets in the room, I can hang up a lot of clothes and free up. A lot of space and stuff in the other guest rooms as well and get the clothes off my floor and put my jeans up that will free up my clothes baskets so I can stop leaving my dirty clothes like in piles and stuff instead of because I have two clothes baskets so I don't want to buy more they just have clean like jeans and leggings and all that stuff in them from when I moved them from my parents house because I don't didn't have a place to put them because the uh, rack in my closet or the rod in my closet was broken so once I get that up 
I can make some progress with my room, so I'm excited about that. Um, what else? I put the bench that I brought. I don't know if I showed you guys the bench or not. I brought a bench for my bedroom. It has the acrylic legs and it's the microfiber suede or whatever material gray on the top of it. And it has the nail head trim just around the four sides of it. And it matches the microfiber gray suede on my comforter set. So I brought that from Ross. It was 69 bucks. I saw it on Friday and I was shocked, so I grabbed it. Um, and I put that at the foot of my bed. So I think I like it there. I just have to make up my bed and finish the room first. I think I like it. I haven't taken the price tags off just in case, but I think I like it. Um, and $70 wasn't a bad price. It's not as long as some of the other benches, but I think it's fine because I only have a queen size bed and my room is not humongous. I still want to put two sitting chairs and a little small side table in between them down by my closet area. But I think the bench is, I think the bench is okay. So we'll see. Um, we'll see about that. What else? Um, I still need to find two mirrors to put, to hang above my, um, two nightstands now that I've ordered my nightstands but I don't want to pay a lot for them so I'm going to look at like um you know TJ Maxx Marshalls and Home Goods for the mirrors um I don't want them to be too wide but I, it would be nice to have them a, a pretty shape so I'll look online too but we'll see um what else and I do need to have that room painted I'm two seconds away from saying I would paint it myself but I really have to get the stairwell and that dining room wall done before I sign up to paint another room on my own. But I'm two seconds away from saying I could do it myself. My original plan was to get the painters that painted my basement to come back and paint that room. Um, but we'll see. Um, I am pulling up to work now. So I guess I will talk to you guys a little later. I only have two more days this week. so. I should be able to knock these two days out and I'm feeling a little better so that's good my dad just texted me checking on me so I have to text him back when I get upstairs but yeah I am doing okay your girl is back so I will talk to you guys a little later bye hey y'all it's Thursday it's about 6 23 in the afternoon and I'm just leaving work Guys, I'm still not feeling well. My stomach is, oh. I did go to CVS and get all my prescriptions filled, so I have them here. I'm gonna start taking them tonight. But um, it happens right after I eat. Like my stomach is not doing well at all right now. But I didn't wanna stay at work any longer to wait until it passed. But guys, oh, hurt so bad. But I made it through the day. I intend to make it through tomorrow. Um, I did not eat that much. I ate like a, um, kind of like a raw, um, cabbage salad kit. I usually can eat the whole kit. This time I only ate about three-fourths of it. I had a cookie for breakfast, um, that I had from the hospital that messed up my stomach totally this morning. And then when I went to go walk to drop off my prescriptions, I got like a little fruit salad, fresh fruit salad from CVS and a ginger ale. So I was able to eat that. Um, and I felt fine um, until now. And now I don't feel fine again. So, yeah. Um, I am headed home. Like I said, it's about 6.25 now. Um, let's see, how was today? Today was good. I had one meeting. Um, and... I wasn't productive as I wanted to be, but that's because I had to play catch up because I had missed two and a half days of, of work. So that's, you know, to be expected. Hopefully today will be a little, uh, tomorrow will be a little bit better. I did spend a little bit of time going um, over the keto diet in detail. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm talking Stacy into going on that journey with me. I'm not one for being able to stick to stuff like that. So that's going to be our challenge because like you guys know, we like to go out. And when we go out, we like to 
think that we're treating ourselves so we go off of whatever meal plan diet plan that we're doing and then once we do that it kind of goes down there get downhill from there both her and i are pretty much on the go a lot and so we eat out of convenience which is fast food whatever we can stop at and grab that's what we eat um, which is not always the best options so it's going to be very difficult for us her sister actually has been very successful at losing a lot of weight and um she basically counted calories though um not necessarily the keto diet but kind of like the keto diet i know she cut out carbs and stuff like that and then she didn't she said she told us today that she didn't ex introduce exercise until about month nine and she said it took her about a year to lose 35 pounds because she wanted to do it slowly and as a lifestyle change and not as like a fad diet that she wasn't going to be able to keep up um which i can understand that um for me i would ultimately like to lose 50 pounds i would um now if i am heavier than 50 heavier than you know losing 50 pounds that's fine but i would like to be the size of at least a 10 and I'm not right now I'm a few sizes away from that so um, yeah that's my goal we'll see I don't know when we're starting this because Father's Day is this weekend so we're not starting this weekend I told you guys we're going to the Brazilian Steakhouse um, more well, my family is on Saturday to celebrate Father's Day which is nothing but meat okay and you can have meat on the keto diet it's just um moderate it's not like you know unlimited or anything like that um so we're not going to start it this weekend and it's just really hard in the summertime just because it's cookout season it's go out season all the time so we were just trying to get our minds right for that i was looking at some of the um keto testing strips on amazon so i think we may invest in that i was also looking at some videos on youtube about different meal plans different um meal ideas and stuff that are keto friendly um because meal prepping is probably going to be a big part of it um which i do not like to do and i do not do well so yeah um people are so rude they act like they literally like you letting a car by is going to make them get home any slower like come on anyway um so i was looking up a lot of the keto friendly stuff also another company reached out to me about it's kind of like a um i don't remember the name of the, the exact name of the company because i just glanced at it as i was leaving work but it's one of those um meal service delivery services or whatever kind of like hello fresh or blue apron or something like that um but it's not those two um they reached out to me to see if i would be interested in doing a partnership with them to bring you guys um cooking more cooking videos and i know during my q a a lot of you guys said that you wanted to see cook with me so far i've only done one but you guys seem to like that these videos won't be my recipe it'll be the recipes of the company and they send me the exact ingredients that i need to make the recipes and then you guys would get like a big discount off of ordering you know the service yourself as well i've always wanted to try one of those services um but i just never did and now that it's just me um, I guess I could still use the because usually they'll have like a family plan and then a two-person plan I guess I could use the two-person plan and just have the other half of the meal for Another meal or something like that. So another dinner or another lunch or something like that um, But I've always wanted to try one of those So let me know down in the comments below if you guys would be interested in seeing more cook with me videos Because that would be a good way for me to bring them to you consistently um and yeah, it was pretty fun to cook in that um, pressure cooker slash slow cooker as well. I'm actually going to cook another meal in this, in that as well. So um, just let me know. I hope you guys will say yes because a lot of you guys said you were interested in seeing cook with me. Also, I know you guys are interested in seeing clean with me, but I haven't really done that much deep cleaning. I was also thinking about maybe getting a house cleaner to come, like just get everything in order and then it'll be easier for me to maintain from there but that won't be until after I get some of the rooms completed because I, I think right now I just feel a little overwhelmed um so I'm not going to bring the clean with me videos just yet um 
and I hate cleaning bathrooms so I'm not going to show you guys the bathrooms I would want to show you guys the kitchen and stuff like that and right now um, because the kitchen counters are housing other items um, it's really not a straightforward clean with me because my kitchen doesn't look that clean to me so yeah um, once I paint the walls and I can get the stuff off the counters that goes on the walls and stuff like that then I'll be able to be in a better position to, sh to show you guys an actual clean with me same thing with the living room once I get the actual furniture that's going in there and I finish the space then I will want to show you guys like clean with me and stuff like that my bedroom as well um, and I have been making changes to my bedroom like I told you guys I'm so excited about my nightstands coming I tracked them today and they are supposed to be here tomorrow so I will um, let you guys see a sneak peek of those in the vlog. Um, I don't know that I'm doing another home decor haul right away because I haven't brought that much stuff. I did order, um, yesterday I ordered one of the glass knots from the gallery. The cerulean color went on sale. However, I ended up still paying like 25 bucks for it because none of my local stores had it and I had to pay $6 in shipping. So it went down to like 17 bucks, but I had to pay $6 in shipping. So I wasn't happy about that, but I just got it before it sold out because that's something that I would like to set on one of my nightstands or my dresser in my room. So I did go ahead and grab that. Um, and then I grabbed some silver candle holders from there um, a couple weeks ago. And I grabbed a few things from TJ Maxx, but they were like small things. So I don't know that I'll do a home decor haul or maybe I'll save those things until um, I collect a, a, a few more items. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. Um, but I am going to show you guys a sneak peek of my nightstands because I know you guys want to see them just as much as I do. And I'm so excited. Um, what else? Whew. I have baby grass coming in. Did I tell you guys that? I think I have. I think I told you guys that. But um, a couple weeks ago I hired a landscaper to come and actually it was last week to come rip up my yard and replant and refertilize resoil all that stuff start completely over he did it last Friday and I've been watering um, and now I can start to see baby grass coming so um, tomorrow will be one week and they say usually it takes um, a couple weeks um, for, for you to start seeing it or whatever so I can actually see it in some places now and hopefully it will grow in good he hasn't been back yet I don't know when he's coming back but that's one more thing off my list my my lawn um, so yeah and my flower bed is doing great I just have to get the electric um, I don't know what you call them but the things that you trim down bushes and trees with my father has a um, has one of the electric ones so I'm gonna get that to trim to kind of shape the trees just a little bit in my bushes but other than that it's done I got some more lawn bags from Home Depot yesterday um, to put the clippings in whenever I do that but for the most part I'm looking forward to not having to deal with my lawn and just letting the landscaper do it like I said he came highly recommended and um, I saw some pictures of his work from some of his current clients in very very nice neighborhoods um, in the surrounding area and I was happy with what I saw so hopefully he can get my yard looking like that as well that's why I opted to just start completely over because my yard was mainly weeds um, to be honest and um, the investors that flipped my property did not put any effort into the outside of the property so that is why I'm refreshing the front door and I'm having to put up shutters on the window and I'm having to redo my flower bed and redo my yard and stuff because they I guess they invested the money inside the house which I appreciate but they did not um, invest outside so that's for me to do and in the springtime you know I want to have a nice home to come home to and look at as well so that is why I'm making that investment what else um my brother sent new pictures of baby Mia, my niece, and I'm so excited to see her this weekend again. Um, she is changing so much. She doesn't even look like herself in some of the pictures. So I'm excited to see her. Um, what else? Hopefully I can start on my closet tonight. I, I don't feel 100%, but I feel okay. I mean, my stomach hurts, but... Um, I feel okay so hopefully I can um, start on my closet tonight um, I told you guys I brought one of those closet made systems from Home Depot the one I brought was like 120 bucks um, 
and I plan to buy two of them if this one works out because I have technically two closets in my room with two separate sets of sliding doors and there's like a small skinny piece of wall in between them but actually when you open the closet doors it's all one closet um, so I'm gonna put I, my plan is to put two of the organizers in there and that will free up a lot of space in my bedroom because my bedroom is a mess that's another reason why yeah just unmotivated um with that right now but when stuff goes on sale that i know i want to complete the room i go ahead and grab it but my room right now is like total unmotivation right now because as soon as you walk in there's clothes everywhere on the floor everywhere in baskets everywhere in suitcases and stuff because i do not have a dresser um yet um but hopefully that will change soon. And with me getting my closet done, I can hang up a lot of clothes. I can fold up a lot of clothes because there are also shelves in it. And then with me getting my two nightstands, I can temporarily put some of my clothes in those drawers, at least just to get them off the floor and out of suitcases and stuff like that. So I can get bring a little bit more organization to my room, which usually helps motivate me to get working on the space. Um, let's see, what else? Really, I'm really worried about this keto um, journey, guys. Like, I don't know if I'm going to fail at it or not. Because I, like, it's hard for us to just keep doing things. And, you know, Stace has Harp. So, Harp has all the snacks and wants all the fast food and wants all of the good, bad stuff, you know, that kids want or whatever. So, she has that in front of her face. Me, not so much. But, like I said, I'm always on the go. So, I eat out of convenience a lot of times. So, we'll see how this plays out we'll see I mean I got really inspired by a lot of the people on YouTube who have like lost tremendous amounts of weight even with no exercise because I told you guys I'm not really a gym rat I don't like going to the gym mainly because I work long hours and by the time I get off from work I'm exhausted mentally and physically and I just don't feel like working out like just to be honest I don't like I couldn't even fathom the thought of driving to the gym right now and working out for an hour I'm tired you know, I got up 12 hours ago, you know, at 6.30 in the morning, and I'm just tired. Like, I'm tired. So, yeah. Um, what else? I'm excited to give my dad his Father's Day gift. Um, I cannot wait. I think he's really going to like it. I think I told you guys in a previous clip that I got him um, the Samsung Gear S3 smart watch my dad is a techie guy you know he's in it and everything and i really think he's gonna like that um i think my siblings and i are gonna make it a joint gift because it was not a cheap watch in our opinion um so that's exciting and i know my mom got him some redskin shirts as well we ironically purchased the same redskin shirt for them i got him and my brother matching redskin shirts and one of the shirts my mom got them got my father was the shirt that I got so I'm actually going to return mine which is fine but I'm going to still give my brother the one that he got and I got my brother this cool card my brother is very frugal and he's a jokester so I got him this card from CBS today when I picked up my prescriptions and it says cheap and this is a donkey for ass and it says I know you love a bargain so I got you this cheap ass card for Father's Day <laughs> so I thought this was really cute my brother will think it's funny um, and I also got my father a funny one too but I got his on Friday from Target so I didn't need to get him one but I just got my brother something because it's his first Father's Day like this is not gonna be a normal thing cuz I only got one father um, but this is first Father's Day so I got him Something small, a Redskin shirt. He's a Redskin fan too. And I thought it would be cute for him and my brother, him and my father to have matching Redskin shirts as well. Um, what else? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long because I've been out of commission. Um, I don't know what else. I talked to my mom today for a while at work. Oh, excuse me and um yeah i don't know i'll try to film a little bit if i end up working on my closet tonight i at least i at least would like to get everything cleared out of the closet i don't have anything hanging up except for like maybe six things in there because um the uh shelf in the 
bracket is broken so I can't really hang anything on it because it's kind of hanging off the wall um, so I only have like six things in, in the closet so it's not going to take long to clear it out at all but I have to take the bracket get the bracket taking out of the closet and off the wall and then um, I'll eventually patch those holes and everything but for right now I just want to at least get the mounted um, like base bracket up for the system and figure out spacing and stuff like that but they say it doesn't take that long so once I start hopefully I'll see it through to the end but we'll see because already 6 40 and um, still about 20 minutes from my house and I'm tired so we shall see but I will talk to you guys later in another clip show you guys the closet system that I got so I got the one um, that says it can expand from five feet to eight inches and I think the full width of my closet is 11 and a half feet no 11 feet five inches yes so I probably do it about five inches or I'm sorry five feet on um, in both closets and just have a little bit of space in between the two systems but this is the system that I got and this one was 120 I believe and this is the shelf track system they do have another system that's a bit cheaper but it doesn't have the shelf track where you can adjust it doesn't have those little vertical tracks where you can just look in different stuff so I wanted to try this and you see it says you can adjust it to the your needs so we shall see and now I'm about to go over to Kiara's house to see the progress. I haven't showed you guys the progress on her house in a while. So I'm headed outside. I'll show you guys out here as well. Looks like I gotta set my, I had to put new batteries in it. So I need to set it again because it's not 11.06 p.m. But yeah. So let me go over to Kiara's house. You see my flower beds, they're doing good. Um, you can see the baby grass coming in, you see it? It's right over there, you see all those little teeny, teeny green things? The grass is coming in, guys. How you doing? See ya. <clears throat> Hi, how are you? And this is Kiara's yard. Her grass came in really good. She still has some patches, but still, it came in really, really thick. So they're gonna come back and we see the patches from her and this is her flower bed as you guys can see it looks really really nice so i will show you guys upstairs in the kitchen once i get up there yeah, yeah. Wow. i love those cabinets hey y'all so we decided to come out to dinner at jasper's kara said she wanted jasper's and ironically stace and harper hit me up when we decided we were going to Jasper's saying to come meet them at Jasper's. So now we're all together. And as you can see, this one here, say, what's up? Tell the people, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Harp says, hi, y'all. She says, what's up? <laughs> did you tell them that you, what, what did you tell them you ate? You getting French fries? Huh? She's playing around. So yeah. Um, Kiara went out to take a phone call and Stace is over here trying to keep Harper from running through the restaurant because she keeps saying she's going bye bye. She had me put on her shoes and everything. So I think I'm going to get some wings. We haven't started the keto diet yet so don't judge but wings are keto friendly anyway. So yeah um, I will check in with you guys a little later unless Harp wants to talk to you guys a little more and I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. Hey, people. Harp wants to show y'all her big french fry. Look how big it is. It's the biggest french fry ever. Right, Harp? It's so big. Eat it. Bite it. Show them how you bite it. She got to eat the rest of her french fry in her mouth first. Look, is that the biggest french fry ever? Say, look at my french fry. <laughs> bite it. Show them how you bite it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's the biggest french fry ever, right? It's good? Say mm, mm, mm. It's good? Tell them bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Yeah, yeah. Say what's up?